no, I don't have matches or lighter on me anyway. Oh, you know where. This is just a symbol, basically. Hello there, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Survival Russia. We are on some uh, wilderness camping. We've been here since yesterday and uh, fishing and uh, stuff like that in the a little bit larger river down here. Anyway, I think it was a good opportunity to make another video for the basic survival and outdoors or whatever we want to call it, series or playlist or whatever. So, of course, it's going to be basic stuff to carry in your pack or in my pack. Stuff that I think that should always be there. Everything else is add-ons. We're not going to talk knives and all that good stuff. That is uh, sort of like uh, a given, so to speak. But stuff that should be there always and which I actually always have in most of my packs which are more or less ready to go and then I add on stuff if I need a larger pack than this and blah 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 blah. Let's get to it guys. I try and do this as fast as possible because it's raining a little bit and that camera is not really happy about rain. But let's go through the first little pouch here. Toilet paper. I have toilet paper literally in all my packs always. Of course, sometimes goes other stuff into this pouch here than toilet paper, but it's there. Multi-tool, any kind of multi-tool. Multi-tools suck, but they can actually come in pretty handy, especially when we are out in the wild wilderness. Can you please close up for me? I want to hear the snap, yeah? Thank you. Cordage, cordage of different kinds. Three meters, five meters, something like that pieces of that. A spoon, another spoon, always handy. A third spoon, a uh, spork. Uh, emergency blankets, not that they're really that awesome, but uh, they can actually come in handy for, for stuff. This is jungle cordage, this is just what I have. I have it in two of my packs. If you don't know what it is, it's just a double uh, row of uh, paracord with knots on, so you can use them for all sorts of stuff. So like uh, hanging a tarps from and uh, this and that. Main compartment, you notice that this pack here is almost full. There's a reason for that. One of the reasons is this rather large first aid kit. This of course a tactical first aid kit. It's a uh, AFAC actually, but uh, we don't need that really. Let's, uh, we'll get back to it, we'll get back to it. But what we do need is a mess kit. Mess kit is always awesome. Of course we can carry all sorts of stuff in it. I cannot see what I'm doing because it's raining here. But yeah, I have some uh, stuff to wash with. I have some uh, uh, dishwashing liquid which is also nice to clean hands with. And another spoon, salt, kitchen cloth and so on. But we'll also get back to this guy here, actually. Stainless steel water bottle with water in, or some water in. And it goes, of course, along with this guy here. Because uh, we should always have something to boil water in. We should have something to cook in. And then we should actually have something to store the water in. Sometimes I carry an uh, empty uh, water bladder, <coughs> but... Uh, on this trip here I have these two two and a half liter bottles so the water bladder, bladder I left at home. This guy here will come back to. So of course silky so this is a Ultra XL 240 straight blade. I have silky saws in all my packs. They're always there. Sometimes I don't really remember which one is there. But I know it's there. Then we have a ground pad. This is the Bundeswehr. The German army ground pad is very, very thin, but it's actually pretty awesome uh, because uh, you can launch your drone from it, you can use it as a mouse pad, you can surprise, surprise, also uh, use it for sitting on, and so on and so forth. <coughs> Here we have one glove because the other glove is uh, shielding the camera, but this is a winter working glove, some of you guys have seen these before. You can also choose the warmer weather version, but I always carry because they're a little bit more sturdy. I always carry the winter type work gloves. 
And then we have this guy here. This is a Vishmashok. This is an ancient, ancient uh, Russian military pack. And uh, of course, it's not really issued any longer, but uh, it's in use. It is the most sturdy pack you can find. And what I use it for is an uh, auxiliary pack. This means that uh, it can fold down to a very, very small size and is extremely tough. It can fold, fold down to even smaller than this. But it's good to have in the pack because when we get to a campsite or something like this, then we can put things in our little uh, auxiliary pack here. It doesn't have to be a Vesme shock, but uh, it helps. It's a good pack. It can be something foldable like this as well. This is, uh, this is not a commercial, this is from a Russian company called Wartek. It's an awesome pack. They don't ship abroad, <laughs> so don't ask for links. But uh, it can be something like that as well, right? With a small auxiliary pack, we don't really need to think about survival kits and all the good stuff. We just put in the pack when we leave camp what we need. Some of you guys know this or have heard this before. <laughs> and uh, then we don't get in trouble. Speaking of getting into trouble, you should always have a fully charged electronic device, which, uh, which is able to work with the offline maps. So as I always say, these devices here are awesome to try and measure. We have our position here, and we have to cross out there, 174 meters. Dum. A little bit less than 500 meters. Because uh, this will get you out of uh, plus 90 percent of the so-called survival situations because most of these situations is getting lost in the woods or somewhere else and when we carry this stuff here when we're out we also carry a compass of some kind and i have a third compass on my wrist as a well so i don't get lost hopefully <laughs> so first aid kit here right this is really really large it's not an IFAC, it's an AFAC. It's, uh, it's of course uh, the advanced version. Uh, we don't really need that much when we're out hiking or fishing in the wilderness or doing one, two, three overnighters and so on. So most of what we will need actually could be compressed into a pouch this size here, no problem. Because if we need anything really, really advanced, especially when we're alone, then we have a medical condition and uh, and some serious trouble. I mean, I just carry painkillers and you know some wound compresses, uh, band aids, and, and you know small stuff. I say I'm in a vehicle today, so I just slap this into the pack because when you're in a vehicle, it doesn't really matter that much, right? But this is not really a first aid kit video. So basically just carry a first aid kit which uh, you find suitable for your needs if you carry a firearm like I do for example. Maybe a, maybe a tourniquet is a good idea. Maybe you found this useful, maybe you didn't. But uh, anyway I would appreciate if you would uh, hit, the, hit the like button <laughs> and uh, subscribe. And uh, make sure that you are subscribed because uh, there are some unsubscribing going on for YouTube, Russia, all that good stuff, right? So anyway guys. That's it for today. That's it for this little video here. Please check the link in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome and do something nice. And uh, see you in the next video, guys.